Jeff Robert Irvine here for bodybuilding.com and today I'm going to show you how to make eggs three different ways. Eggs are the staple in any diet, whether you're healthy eating, whether you're just eating to eat. So the first one I'm going to do is make a sweet potato and pepper hash with a fried egg on top. Very easy, very simple, but very, very nutritious. Now we're using a local white sweet potato. All we've done is diced the sweet potato, peeled it, diced it. We've got uh, a pan going here with some grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil is better for you than olive oil. It reaches 425 degrees, has no flavor whatsoever, so it won't change the flavor of your food. Unlike its brother, olive oil, it's got a bitter uh, peppery aftertaste, and we don't want that in this dish. I've got some white onion, I'm gonna saute with some bacon. Bacon is great, it's salty, has a lot of depth to this dish. And all we're gonna do is saute it until it's translucent. We start to get some color, golden brown. Remember, we want that sugar to come out uh, and give us that nice caramelization. We're gonna throw in there some red peppers. Red peppers, again, acidic. It helps us digest immediately. And our sweet potatoes. Oh, yeah. And you can just smell the bacon's doing its, its job, the onions, the peppers, and you want them aromas to get nice and melded together. Let it do its thing. Because when it does, it's amazing. Fried egg on top of anything is the way to go. But you can only do that in the last minute. You see the caramelization here of the, uh, of the bacon that's happening now? Now what I don't want you to do, I don't want you to shake the pan. Because the minute you shake the pan, you break the sear that's given that golden brown color. Don't be afraid to put the heat up high because we want it golden brown. We want that texture to come through before we can serve it. While we're doing that, we'll take a little parsley. Parsley is great for cleaning the blood. Fresh herbs. And the minute you put fresh into anything, it changes the flavor completely. In to our hash right there. I always like to add a little acid to this, so we're gonna take some lime juice. Now the quickest way to get the flavor out of the lime is to microwave it for about 30 seconds. The essential oil comes out the skin, and it's a wow flavor. Okay. So I'm just gonna remove this, warm this up so I can start my egg. So that's still cooking. I'll put my pan on here for my egg, get it a little warm. Now remember, we need the pan to be hot. The minute you put the egg in or you crack an egg, the albumin, the white, we want it to start to set quickly. That's the key to this. Otherwise, you're gonna get uh, your hashes finished and your eggs are not gonna be done. You see it's going nice and golden brown there. Don't take it out too early, let it do its thing. Oh, there we are, started to set quickly. Little salt, little pepper. Now we can feel the love, we can see the color coming on that. And now we're gonna take a spatula, just turn. Oh yeah, turn the heat off. I wanna see the yolk. My last finisher here is a little scallion on top. Again, that texture. Then comes the fun stuff. The peppers, the scallions. Just look at the vibrant colors there. When you look at colors like that, there's nothing better than putting that fried egg on top. A little pepper. And there we have it. Sweet potato hash with an over easy fried egg. Breakfast of champions. 
So our next dish is a beautiful scrambled egg with ham, tomatoes, onions, and avocado. Again, something very simple, but very high in protein. The oil get the uh, pan nice and hot. Remember when we're cooking scrambled eggs, there's water in the eggs. So we need to make sure that the eggs, the albumin and the yolks come together really quickly. Nice and hot. We'll saute some onions first. A little tomato. And some ham. While that is doing its thing, we got eggs here, four eggs. Mix them up. Eggs are not seasoned where I come from, so you have to season them. A little salt, a little pepper. I'm going to take a little milk or heavy cream. Mix it up there. While we're doing that, letting the, the onions and the tomatoes and the ham do their thing, I'm going to show you this little trick. Avocado. You cut the avocado in half, twist it, avocado comes off. If you want to take the pit, that twist, so you don't cut yourself. I'm cutting it into quarters. I'm going to peel it off. That's how ripe this is, beautiful. And we're left with quarter of an avocado. I'm going to just take the ends off and throw that in there. Again, this is purely presentation. And what I've got is a little fan of avocado. Pretty cool, right? In goes our eggs. Now we start to scramble. And it's pretty much the same as when we make an omelet, right? We start this way, so it starts to scramble. And you can see that to start to scramble now. And then all of a sudden, it will get dry very quickly. And if it does overcook, you can always add another egg in raw to save it. Look at that nice, light, fluffy. As the avocado and eggs mix together, we've got that great flavor. The ham is salty. The more the eggs dry, the more scrambled they become. I do not like too dry of a scrambled egg. Scrambled eggs onto the plate. Taking our avocado onto the top. There we have it. Scrambled eggs with fresh avocado. The last dish is more of an hors d'oeuvre. We boiled eggs, hard boiled eggs, cut them in half. So we have the whites, and we have the yolks separated. So we're gonna take the yolks and we are just gonna literally, using a cheese grater, grate them up. We're looking for ease. You can do this the day before, but it's a quick and easy dish. There we are. Into a bowl, I'm gonna add mayonnaise, mustard, Paprika, a little cumin, and a little rice wine vinegar. And this is going to be our binder for our eggs. Into our egg yolks. So there you are. At this point, if I'm in a restaurant, I will take a piping bag with a star tube nozzle and pipe these in really fast. We don't need to do that. So we just get a teaspoon, make sure the eggs are dry, and just fill them up. Again, great hors d'oeuvre, great for kids. The mustard gives us a great flavor. So imagine this, you've got guests coming over, you're walking around, you're serving them, they're getting a great dish. And it looks pretty with a little paprika, a little uh, parsley on top. There we have it. Deviled eggs made easy. Three amazing egg dishes that are fast, high in protein, and you can do it in seconds. For more interesting and healthy foods, recipes and all, go to bodybuilding.com. Chef Robert Irvine, until next time, take care of each other, have great food, and have a lot of fun making it.